Welcome back to Game Closet. I'm your host, Dr. Scott, and I'm happy you all could stop by. The new Atari 2600 Plus is available for pre-order and will be shipped in November. Now the buzz is swirling about the console, and if you want to know more about it, there will be a link at the end of this video. Here in part one of this video series, we're gonna be talking about games for the Atari 2600. Now this is a 2600 Junior, not to be mistaken with the original models, of course, and it plays the same games, but the 2600 Plus that's coming out is gonna look like the original Woody, you know, the four, the four switch. So, but you may have some cartridges lying around, or you may be trying to recall some of your favorites, and you're gonna go grab some from a local mom and pop store, aren't you? I hope so. There are hundreds of original Atari 2600 titles. There are many shovelware titles as well, many that just don't hold up at all. But there are quite a few that are very outstanding even today. This video series will focus on Atari 2600 titles that I feel are the games that you would give to someone who would just normally dismiss the 2600. Or maybe you have great nostalgia for the console and you need a refresher on some of those games you haven't seen in decades. Part two will be coming out later this week. So do me a favor, make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button and watch out for part two. Let's jump in. Asteroids is one of my personal favorites on the 2600. Even though this arcade translation is a tad repetitive, there are many variations on this two-player game that give you many ways to shoot up the space rocks, satellites, and UFOs. It's a really good time, and I can play this thing until I flip it, which I believe is 100,000 points. Missile Command is another great arcade port, and it's fairly faithful as well. Your six cities are under attack by missiles and bombs. Your job is to guide your missiles to intercept the incoming threats. It gets faster as you progress. Now, Missile Command is a true gem, and it was one of the original games that I had for my 2600 when I was a kid, and I have a lot of nostalgia for this game. No, you don't have a rollerball like you would have in the arcade, but the joystick operates fantastically for this excellent arcade title. The Atari 2600 was no stranger to arcade ports, and this is the third one on the list. It's Space Invaders. Move your base behind the shield to shoot the incoming aliens. Now, that's pretty simple, but they do move faster the more you shoot them, and they get closer and closer to you as they fire their lasers at you. If they land, you're dead. That's it. Simple and quick. There's tons of variations on this cartridge, so you can have hours and hours of fun. Activision's Pitfall may be the very first side-scrolling adventure game. You are Pitfall Harry and your job is simple. Pick up all the loot you can as you run through the jungle, avoiding the deadly creatures, sinkholes, and rolling logs. The crocodiles may get a free lunch if you slip up, so just don't slip up. Freeway is the second entry on this list by Activision, and I love playing this game with my little girl. It's a great time for kids and adults alike because the premise is as simple as the old joke, why did the chicken cross the road? So grab the joystick and move your chicken up or down to avoid the oncoming traffic. Now one or two players can play. You can choose the type of traffic patterns, cars or trucks, faster or slower, etc. Why'd the chicken cross the road? Well, to play Freeway, of course. In Magic's classic Space Invaders clone, Demon Attack is more than meets the eye, and it's more than just a clone. Especially if you aren't on your toes. The Space Demons attack as your ship fires upon them. Now they get faster and they change types as you progress and eventually they split in two then dive bomb at you. Demon Attack is fun and it can get very fast and nerve wracking. It's a must have. Ms. Pac-Man doesn't look like the arcade game, but Atari at least made a real effort here, and this is a fantastic port, even on the Atari 2600. Ms. Pac-Man runs from the ghosts, eating the pellets, and the super pellets give her the ability to eat the ghosts. The mazes actually change every couple rounds when you complete them. It's simple and fun, unlike that other game they made. <laughs> The Empire Strikes Back is a fairly simple game, but it's worth your time, unlike the other Star Wars games on the 2600. 
Your snow speeder flies at the snow walkers, shooting them to take them down. Bomb hatches appear occasionally on the AT-ATs, and a sharp shot to them will immediately destroy the AT-AT. Stay alive for two minutes, and the force will be with you, making you invulnerable for 20 seconds. It can get repetitive, but most games from this era are repetitive. The Empire Strikes Back is a worthy entry for the Atari 2600 from the Star Wars franchise. Activision had a few racing titles, but Enduro was the ultimate racing title on the 2600. Far better than pole position in my opinion, because as you race, you must pass the shown amount of cars before the sun comes up. Yes, there is a day and night driving feature and fog, hence the endurance and enduro. Your driver drives night and day to win the race. The sound and graphics give you the sense of speed even on the Atari 2600. Playable for more than 10 minutes, for sure, Enduro is the greatest of Atari 2600's racing games. Well, in my opinion. In Activision's Hero, you play as Roderick Hero, flying his helicopter pack into mines to rescue trapped miners. Our hero has to avoid creepy crawlies, lava, and blow up walls with dynamite or his laser all before the power runs out in his helicopter pack. Each level gets more and more difficult and is arguably one of the best games for the Atari 2600. Heck, just ask Metal Jesus. Well, that's it for part one. Look for part two later this week and parts three and four in a few weeks. So make sure that you are subscribed to Game Closet so you won't miss out on new videos coming up. And for Game Closet Patreon members, there will be an exclusive part five. So you won't want to miss that. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you here in the Game Closet very, very soon. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please hit the like button because it helps the YouTube algorithm spread the video to more awesome people just like you. Subscribe for more here in Dr. Scott's Game Closet, and there's plenty more where this one came from, so click on a video for more video game shenanigans. We'll see you all very, very soon.